Hi, I'm Nikki Lovegrove from Tree of Opals and Keepsake Supplies. I've been making memorial jewellery for clients for eight years and I also sell DIY kits to go with these tutorials. Thank you so much to my client Vicky for permission to film this video and your lovely comments. This video is dedicated to her grandparents Jack and Monica. In this video, I'll be using UV resin in a direct pour technique to create a cremation ashes ring with two dangle charms with birthstones. I've linked to all the supplies I'm using in the video description, which are for sale on my website keepsakersupplies.com. We sent Vicky a kit in the post with a pot for both of her grandparents' ashes. We made sure to mark on the label and the pots which ashes were which and the colours to use. Vicky also requested this ring sizer and luckily the sizes go from a UK size A to Z plus. I'm proud to be a size inclusive jeweller and as Vicky is a size G which is about a US size 3 it was no problem. I offer rings in all shapes and sizes and you can order one ring with your loved one's ashes or a hundred rings from me wholesale. To hold the ring in place I like to use reverse action tweezers also known as a third hand. Lay out your ashes and the colours. I'm using purple, yellow and orange here. You'll need a little bit of label backing paper for each side too. I've already made these little 8mm necklace settings for my client to check she's happy with the colours. I sent her a proof photo and returned these pieces along with her ring. Make sure to keep safe anything you make for your customer. I put these in a little cellophane bag in with her kit. I'm using sustainable cocktail sticks to stir and apply the ashes and they come in the DIY kits. I'm using Padico Stardrop UV resin again today because it's the best quality. Put a little drop on the label backing paper some of the sparkle mix. Give the tiny spoon a clean in between dips with a biodegradable baby wipe. Mix it well and place a very thin layer into one of the bezel cups around the base and up the sides. Make sure it's not too thick in the corners or it won't cure. Pop it into your UV lamp for 60 seconds to cure and prepare the other ashes. I'm using a mixture of yellow and orange you can now buy these pre-mixed with resin, but it's okay to use the loose powder too. Vicky's granddad's ashes weren't as fine as her granny's, so I used a pestle and mortar to grind them a little finer. This is totally optional though. I added in a small chip of yellow topaz too, for the November birthstone. Before curing, I did another layer on the purple side. Cure and repeat, working in thin layers to build up the colour. After around three layers of just the colour, do a layer of clear resin and swirl in a little bit of the colour and ashes mixtures. You can add a little bit more of the ashes too if you like. You can add a little bit more of the ashes too if you like. Cure this layer. If you're enjoying this video, please give me a like. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried working with UV resin. Tidy up your workstation and carefully put the unused ashes back, ready to return to the client. I'm even returning the wipe because it contains Vicky's loved one's ashes. I've also cured the leftover sparkle and the ashes mix and I'm sending these back too. You might need to add another layer of clear to dome the top but this ring was perfect so I cured it a couple more times and it was ready. I'm so grateful to Vicky for permission to film this video as part of my series of courses to make breast milk memorial jewellery. She said, I am beyond thrilled to wear this and keep my precious grandparents near me. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Now relax and do some crafting.